Hey, what's up, BFL fam? I'm Carlos, and welcome back to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Today, my top 12 coffee fragrances. Keep it right there. Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Thanks so much for tuning in to BFL today as always. I really do appreciate you spending some time with me. Why don't we start today off by showing some BFL love and giving this video a big thumbs up. If the video reaches 500 likes, I'll do a giveaway. Details at the end of the video. Today, I'll be discussing my top 12 coffee fragrances. I like to start these videos off by saying, I forgot to do it in the tea list, that these are not the best coffee fragrances in the world. If I happen to leave one off that you love, it's probably because I don't own it. The big gripe everybody had on the tea list was that I forgot Gucci too. I didn't forget it, I just don't own it. So that's that. All right, you guys, let's get this list started. In usual BFL manner, I will go through them as quickly as I can as to not take up too much of your time. At number 12, we have from the House of Bond number nine. This is I Love New York for All. It was released in 2011. It has coffee, it has hazelnut, and it's one of my favorite Bond number nines. They have a huge collection, as you already know, but this is one of my favorites from the whole collection of Bond number nine. Moving on to number 11, we have from the House of Oud. This is called Great Pearls. Let me set this down so I don't drop it because I'm a klutz. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time. So this was released in 2016. It has notes of grape, grape leaves, it has blueberry, it has coffee, and it's a really nice, full, luscious coffee fragrance. I really do enjoy it. It smells a little like another one that's on this list. I'll point it out when I get to it. At number 10, from the house of Mancetta, we have Oud Cafe. This was released in 2013. Oud Cafe has notes of peach, black currant, coffee, some sweet notes, some woody notes. It's a really nice coffee-based fragrance. I've heard people say online that they get a smell of celery in the opening blast of this. I'm so happy that I don't because I can't stand the smell of celery on my fingers when I cook with it. Black. <laughs> so coming in at number 10 from the House of Mancera, Oud Cafe, released in 2013. Moving along to number nine, we have from the house of Atelier Cologne. This is called Café Tuberosa. It was released in 2017. It has notes of Guatemalan cardamom. It has Indian tuberose, rose, coffee, and it's a fantastic, fantastic fragrance. I love it. It's very reminiscent of Tom Ford's Noir de Noir. The name is misleading. It's not very heavy on the tuberose, and it's also not very heavy on the coffee note, but I still love the fragrance. It does have coffee, but it's not as much as in other fragrances on this list. That's why it's higher on the list. Nonetheless, a great fragrance, Atelier Cologne's Café Tuberosa from 2017. Coming in at number eight from the House of Nishane, we have Passion Choco. This was released in 2013. It's got notes of passion fruit. It's got dark chocolate. It's got coffee. It's got vanilla. It's got patchouli. It's a gorgeous fragrance and one of the more gourmandier coffee fragrances on this list. Coming in at number seven from the house of Parfum de Marly. This is Leighton Exclusif, released in 2017. After the success of the original Leighton, they decided to put out a flanker. So they released this guy, Leighton Exclusif, which had added notes of coffee and oud, giving it more of an oriental feel. We're at the halfway mark. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Number six, we have from the House of Carthusia. This is called Terra Mia. It came out in 2017. It has coffee, hazelnut, orange blossom, jasmine. It has a really nice gourmand, juxtaposed floral notes. It's really enjoyable to wear and was composed by one of my favorite current Italian perfumers. His name is Luca Maffei. At number six, Carthusia, Terra Mia. Coming in at number five, from the House of Mantal. This is Intense Cafe. It's got rose, it's got coffee. It's a really thick and lush and really nice fragrance. 
The rose can be a little overbearing in this one. I wish the coffee was longer lasting, but all in all, it's still a composition that I enjoy. And the one that this one smells like, this one down here. If you smell them side by side, they're pretty comparable. So at number five from the House of Montal Intense Cafe from 2013. Moving on to number four. This might surprise some of you guys. It's from the House of Mugler. This is Amen Pure Coffee. It was released in 2008. It's an old one and I still have it. I can't believe it. It's mostly coffee with that famous Amen Patchouli Dry Down. It's really enjoyable, and from what I remember back in the day when I did rock it a lot, the girls really did like this one at work, and I got quite a few compliments. It's funny how whatever fragrance got me compliments I remember, but I can't remember what the hell I ate for breakfast, but whatever. That's the uh, mind of a local fraghead. Moving on to number three from the house of Sergeoff from their Coffee Break selection. This is Golden Dalla. It was released in 2018. A beautiful composition of coffee, incense, rose, spices, and no one does it like Serge Off. This is a wonderful, wonderful fragrance. At number two, a recent acquisition of mine. It is called Awake. This is from the house of Acro. I barely used it, but I have a sample that I was working with before I got the bottle. And it's a really great, realistic coffee. It's like you're sleeping and somebody puts on the coffee pot and wakes you up. That's what this smells like. It's got a great hazelnut twist and it's very long lasting and really, really well done. It was composed by Olivier Crest. This is from the house Acro, which is his house that he did with his daughter, Anies. And great fragrance at number two, Acro Awake released in 2018. And number one, I'm sure you guys are going to guess what it is because you've recently watched me do a video on it. But in case you forgot, dum da da dum at number one from the house of Montal. Again, Montal got two spots on this list. This is the recently released Ristretto Intense Cafe, released this year in 2019. And I love it. It's a Starbucks mochaccino in a bottle. The coffee note lasts throughout the fragrance. The rose is not too overbearing in this one. And I think it's just really well done. I love it. And it's taking my spot in the camera here. So you're going to have to move over there, buddy. So my number one on my top 12 coffee list from Montal Histretto Intense Cafe. Number one. Okay, so there you have it, my friends, my top 12 coffee fragrances list. Hope you enjoyed. The giveaway that I mentioned earlier in the video. If the video reaches 500 likes, I will give away three 5 multi cans of anything on this table. All you have to do is subscribe to Brooklyn Fragrance Lover. Like this video, then leave one comment down below with what you enjoyed most about this video today. If you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. If you haven't a subscriber, click on the bell icon so you don't miss notifications on new reviews, new content, giveaways, and all the fragrance fun always happening right here at BFL. Take care, stay blessed, and I will see you next time. As always, in usual BFL manner. All right, let's take this away. Take it away where? All right, let's get this tongue twisted. All right, you guys, let's get this list going. <laughs> All right, so let's. So we're at the halfway point. At number six, we have from the House of Carthusia. This is called Terra Mia. It was released in 2017. It was composed by one of my favorite computers, 